Around about 120 years ago, uh, it was actually owned by a folk hero named Mackenzie, and he had a strange or different sort of an occupation back then. He went around collecting sheep, in fact, other people's. There's a story that you're bound to hear if you down Otago Way of an outlaw and his dog that brought him fame. Of an ancient Maori trail to a grassy mountain vale in that rugged land that bears Mackenzie's name. Where the campfires are a blazing and the drove the man a lazing, fought the fight with Hakanui Mountain Grog. There's a story in the making with perhaps a little bacon as they weave the legend round Mackenzie's dog. Now Mackenzie, so the story goes, rode the ranges on a steer, free selecting squatter sheep, and when it done, he would tell his collie pup to go back and round them up, and to punch them home to the mountain run. While the troopers took the trail, swore to bring this man to jail, and recapture all the mossy faces too. While they captured him at last In a rugged mountain pass And he went before the judge at Timaru But there were no signs of repentance When Mackenzie heard a sentence But the next words rang from him a broken cry He ignored the law and told them That no prison bars would hold him When the judge condemned his faithful dog to die now there's a story that you're bound to hear if you're down Otago Way Of an outlaw and his dog that brought him fame Of an ancient Maori trail to a grassy mountain vale In that rugged land that bears Mackenzie's name Yes, in that rugged land that bears Mackenzie's name